New in Drive Image 6.1 is a Google Apps Connector. This works with Drive Single Sign-On and it allows the user to scan and send emails through Google Apps, print documents from Google Apps, and scan directly to their Google Drive, all without having to authenticate each time. So here you see I'm looking at the Drive Image screen. Um, there are four different profiles here. These could also be broken out as separate applications on a lot of the devices that we work with. And you'll also notice that I'm already logged in. So this is assuming that I've already swiped my card uh, or I put my shortcode in. And once I get into Drive Image, I don't have to put my password in each time to scan to Google. You can also log in manually each time if it's not a single sign-on environment. So we have four different profiles set up here. One is simple, it's just email myself. Uh, that's just going to send an email directly via Google Apps for email right to the logged on user. The other one is email someone else. And in this case, I can search company contacts or I can enter a new email address and that's going to send it directly to uh, that user as the logged in user. And it's gonna show up in that logged in user's uh, sent items. It's a little more professional because the recipient gets it from me. Uh, it's also uh, a little easier for me to track because now I have a record in my send items just as though I'd sent it from my phone or from my desktop. Uh, and also it's just going to be a little more simple than having to send it to myself and then forward it on. The third option that we have here is my Google Drive and this can be called whatever you want and here we have a couple different options. One I have, I can select a destination. So there I can actually browse my Google Drive folders. And here I have one called Scans. So I'm gonna put it in there. I can also name the file, whatever I want. So let's say this is a receipt from Trip. And it's gonna send it right up to that Scans folder uh, and it's gonna call it Receipt from Trip. And remember, we can also make that a one-touch thing. So we could do a My Google Drive Advanced or a My Google Drive Simple. And the simple, you would simply just hit the button and it would take you right into here and it's just gonna put it into the root of your Google Drive. A lot of times if there are a lot of users, that's you know the simple, uh, the easier the better. And uh, both of those options are available. The fourth option that we have here, which is pretty cool, is to print from Google Drive. And actually what we can do here is browse the logged on users Google Drive folder. So here I'm looking at some in my root, I'm looking at scans. And actually, hey, there's the one that I just scanned up there, receipt from trip. And if I select it, I can actually print it right out to the printer that I'm standing at. And that can be a Google document, it can be a Google Sheet, it can be a PDF, an image, uh, pretty much anything. Um, and it'll print right out to the device that I'm at. If we have more than one devices, you can actually uh, select the device here as well, but here I've only got one. So we have four main options here, uh, or three. We have email via Google Apps, we have scan to Google Drive, and we also have print from Google Drive. And again, the big benefit here is that all this can be done without the user having to log in each time. So anyone with a swipe card and Google Apps, or if they're using a PIN to log in, uh, we can make it very simple for the user to get files in and out of their Google Apps account. So here I'm going to give you a look at what we've just done. Uh, here in my Gmail, I'm logged in as that same user. And in the sent items, you can actually see the message that we sent. And it comes from me and it's to me. Here in Google Drive, uh, I can see there's that scans folder that we, that we showed. And if I look in there, I've got the receipt that we sent up and I can open it up. And that can also be set as any type of uh, format. So here we have it set as PDF, but you could set it up as a Word file or a TIFF or really whatever. But Google gives you a lot of options for searching the file and editing it and, and whatnot. So very easy for the users to log in and, and see what they've done.